Welcome back to A Dime's Words. This is DJ Paradigm. We have a special request. A lot of people have been asking about different speakers. So today we are testing out the Bose F1 Top and the Bose F1 Sub. So these are new products from Bose. We're going to show you how to set it up, what it's going to sound like, all the specs on it. I got my man Alex Choi with me from Vox DJ Company. Looking like my twin over here. Thank you guys for always tuning in to A Dime's Worth. Click subscribe. Click like, leave a comment. All right, we're gonna hook this up for y'all. So this is the cover that comes with it. Unzip it from the bottom. Ooh. What's nice is when you put the sub up, you see back here is a built-in stand. All you gotta do is unlock this, pull it out, and then it rests right on top of the sub, just like that. So talk about minimal setup don't even need a stand. My only complaint is that it's a little short when you put the speaker on top. This is as quick of a setup as you'll get. And then you take the top, which is the Bose F1 812, I think, 12 inch speaker. And it's got an array inside of it. So you just pull up the top like that. And so what's cool about this speaker is that I got this flexible array. So if you needed a, to project up, you just click this back and then it projects up. Say you were on a stage like this uh, and you needed to project down, you pull this, push this in, and then it projects down. So this configuration is like a very full wide spectrum. For weddings, I think it's easier to just do the top so that you go up and over people's heads. So all you do now is that there's a little hole there. All right, right there's the hole. So this hole is where you mount your speaker on top with the stand that already comes. And that's it. On it, all right. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like super tall, but it's no. tall enough, you know, unless somebody's like, hey. Yeah. So, all right, so it's all set up. I'm gonna tell you right now, probably sits about six feet high. There's six feet high. And it has its own stand right here, which actually clips off and then sits on the actual sub. So you take it out, pop it right on top right here, and then put your speaker above it. Actually looking at it right now, I think it's a pretty cool look. Is there anything that you could put in here? Did they give you something or is I've it seen, just made like that? No, I've seen some DJs put a light there, which I don't know. Okay, you know, that's pretty cool. Above, but. The cool thing about this F1 model Bose is once you have your cords hooked up, you can just run your cords right through here of the stand so you can hide your cords so let's talk about the input so you have of course input one your volume knob input two your volume knob your xlr in your line out just in case you need a daisy chain uh, to another speaker really simple bag setup your on and off button of course right here your power power switch your limit and we're gonna cut everything on. So this is for the speaker. And for the sub, you have, of course, your two XLR ins, and then your XLR out. And of course, your volume knob, uh, your polarity. What is the polarity for? I don't even know what that's for. What's polarity? What is that uh, even for? Do you know, do you even use that no, ever? No, I don't, I just keep it on normal. Okay. So the polarity, we never really touched that. And your volume knob, and of course, your power, and your switch to cut it on. So right here on the EQ, it says full range and with sub. So if you flip it to full range, you can you still use it as a regular speaker and mount it on a speaker stand. So above here, there is a hole. So you can still have, it has a 12 inch sub in the back of this actual speaker. So once you click it to full range, you can still use it just as a standalone speaker without the sub. Right now we're going to test it with the sub. As you can see, you don't see any cords anywhere because all the cords are tucked. 
which I think that's pretty cool. The only thing is this right here, this hollow space, I don't know I would do something with it. However, I think it's really cool that you don't need a speaker stand. That eliminates that portion and you still have your sub so you don't have to hook up a pole or anything like that. So I really like that about it. Um, and that's it. Uh, the only couple of gripes are the cord, the power cord that comes with the Bose system is very short. It might be six feet. So you're gonna have to buy, of course, either an extension cord or of course buy a different cord that's this skinny right here that it'll fit inside your groove. All right, so we're gonna cut everything on and hook it up. So we have it already hooked up. I mean, we have it set up now. So of course, your speaker. And uh, like we said before, the speaker is an array speaker. So all you have to do is tilt it. Hey, tilt it. Is it put back here? Oh, you just okay. push it in. Yeah. Okay. So if you look right here, you can just push it in. If you're on top of the stage and you want to point your direction down and it clips up, or this also for the top, all you have to do is push it back so your speakers can project overheads. A couple of things that we've taken away from just looking at this speaker is that it's a full line array speaker. So you actually get a really full sound. Uh, of course, you know, we know Bose from everyday home use, headphones, uh, speakers that people install in their houses. So, you know, just to name Bose alone, We'll let you know hey it's a quality brand speaker they're just trying to break into a different market and sell to djs so so like i said inside the actual sub are two eights these bows uh they don't they don't have that harshness that you would hear you don't really get that out of these bows um it's a lot less harsh a lot cleaner and of course the punch and the lows are definitely coming from the bows sub so those are a couple things to take away. We're gonna set it up with the new Rev 7, which you see right here, and give you a sound check, all right? So don't forget to click like, click subscribe. If you guys want my promo on the Rev 7, the $200 off, all you gotta do is click subscribe on this channel, follow me on Instagram, at DJ Paradigm, and I will hook you guys up with the promo code. All you have to do is DM me that you'd like the promo code for the Rev 7, all right? At like 10 o'clock. We have everything hooked up. All right, we'll keep everything at 12. Coming from your speaker, straight to your controller. So we're gonna take a time lapse of how long it's gonna to take to break this down, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, that took like 15 seconds and he's done. So that's all it takes. I think that's another good thing about the Bose F1. The setup and breakdown time, oh man, probably cuts down about 15 minutes in comparison to 
you know, your regular sub and stand and then it pulls. So that was quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Bose F1 speaker with the sub. Uh, thank you to my man Alex Choi from Vox DJ Company for allowing me to come test this out. It sounds really good. Uh, there's a couple of things I would take away from it. Just understand that it doesn't sit as high um, if you were to have a speaker on a stand and to extend it all the way up. So it's about, I'd say, I don't know, six feet tall uh, on top of this. Um, and also, you also need to understand that the cords that come with it, the power cords are very short, so you probably need to invest in those if you're looking to purchase the Bose S1 stand. And if you guys still want to enter to win my Newmark Mixstream Pro, all you have to do is click subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and shoot me a DM on Instagram at DJ Paradigm to let me know that you want to enter to win, all right? Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace.